Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome to the new campus of Holland Springs High School. We can clap for that. My name is Dr. Ken White and I am the proud principal of Holland Springs High School. Before we begin, please stand for the presentation of colors by the Holland Springs High School Marine Corps Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps and the playing of the national anthem by the baddest, the baddest band on this side of the Mississippi, the Marching Battalion of Holland Springs High School. Thank you. You may be seated. Today, I count it as a blessing and pleasure to stand before you as we honor the history and celebrate a step in the magnificent future of Holland Springs High School. In doing so, please help me recognize the visionaries, the leaders, and community partners who are here with us today who have helped to make this dream of transforming teaching and learning a reality. Without, without them, none of this would be possible. From our school board, Reverend Roscoe Co Cooper, Chair from Fairfield District, Vice Chair Marcy Say, representing the Tuckahoe District, Ms. Christy Kinsella, Brooklyn District Representative, Ms. Alicia Atkins, our Verona District Representative, From the Board of Supervisors, Pat O'Bannon, Vice Chairman, representing the Tuckahoe District. Frank Thornton from the Fairfield District. And Tyrone Nelson from the Verona District. We will hear from Ms. Atkins as well as Reverend Nelson in just a moment. Supervisors Dan Schmidt and Tony Bryan, Brandon both send regrets that they were not unable to attend this event. Welcome to our Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Amy Cashwell 
and our county manager, Mr. John Patokas. It is an honor to have special guests, Senator Jennifer McLean, Delegate Lamont Bagley. Also, thank you to our community partners joining us today, Mr. Demetrius Frazier, Black Men Reed, Mike Taylor, and Rico Education Foundation. I'd like to take a few minutes to extend a special welcome to some longtime members of Springer Nation. Please hold your applause until the end. Former principals, Mr. Al Shiroki and Ms. Pam Bell, better known as Ma Bell. <laughs> Ms. Susan McNamee, former assistant principal. Mr. Rudy Ward, George Lancaster, and Ms. Ruth Williamson. And finally, please help me to welcome a number of schools, county, and Springer staff who are here to make, mark this special occasion. If you are a Springer staff member, can you just wave your hands for us so we can receive you all here who are here today. Thank you guys so much. As you know, this is a very special day for Springer Nation as it marks the next chapter in a storied history of this great place. As I shared earlier, this chapter will bring a transformation of teaching and learning that will help lift this Holland Springs community to new heights. The brand new building will serve as a place that works to prepare our students to walk away prepared with life-ready skills that will help them be productive and contributing members to our society. I'm truly overjoyed in this moment and excited about the future of Holland Springs and the great things that will continue to come from Holland Springs. Finally, I would like to thank every Holland Springs faculty and staff member for your dedication and commitment to our success. I am truly blessed to serve a faculty and staff that on an everyday basis works to be champions for our students. The success of Holland Springs High School is truly rooted in your everyday work and everything you put into our students on a daily basis. I count it a true blessing to be your principal here at Holland Springs High School. And now, I would like to turn the microphone over to school board representative for Holland Springs High School and Verona District, Ms. Alicia Atkins. This has certainly been an emotional week. And in thinking about this day, it had me reflect upon the word hope and how important it is to have hope. And I was looking up definitions of the word hope and there was a whole lot of big words and paragraphs to describe what that word means. But for me, it means to want something so badly. And hope is available to all of us. And yet hope never asks for anything. Hope had the clever list to know that the steps that myself and so many others climbed as children at Highland Springs High School would withstand the feet the hands, and the pure volume that walked through it for many centuries. Hope somehow spoke to us before we even knew that many of us would be parents of children that attended the very same school. Highland Springs is a sort of intergenerational community grandmas, grandpas, aunts and uncles. We live together, we love together. Hope reminded us that new facilities were on the way and soon we will be dancing and singing. And here we are this week celebrating Tucker, Holiday and Highland Springs. There are many to thank for this day. Some of us are right here today. There are some of us in many places, but their spirit is here. And there are some really important ones that have gone on to glory. But I'm going to take a moment to thank the many that are here today and that may not be here today. 
I want to thank our former and current Board of Supervisors. I want to thank our Sheriff who's in the house, Alyssa Gregory. I want to thank our County Manager, Mr. Vitokas and his team. I want to thank Dr. Cashwell and her many, many, many teams. I want to thank our former and our current school board representatives. Thank you. I want to thank Dr. White and your staff. I want to thank so many former principals as well. I want to thank our Springer Nation alumni. I want to thank our current students. I want to thank the residents that live in this community and the ones that surround it. I want to thank everyone that took this idea, understood it, and helped bring it to fruition. And whether you helped with your hands and you laid the bricks or you planted the trees, whether you used your heart and sent out prayers, whether you use your mind for creative thinking to help along the way, whether you voted to help fund these projects, and whether you were like me as a child hoping for the day to come for a new Highland Springs. I'm also going to take a moment to highlight two individuals because they're so deserving of not only the words that I'm about to speak, but so much more. And I'm looking for one of them so that I can talk directly to you. Mr. John Montgomery, I see you. <laughs> you are hiding back there. Uh, John, in 2019, you said something that has never left me. You may not remember, but I do. And you said, just as those that came before us that left a legacy, we should do the same too. Mission accomplished, Mr. Montgomery. Thank you so much for this gift, and thank you for your legacy of leadership, and I hope that I am doing you proud in this moment as our former Verina District School Board member. The second individual that I would like to highlight, <coughs> and hopefully without tears, is Reverend Tyrone Nelson. Can I just get a hand clap for him before I move forward? <laughs> you use your gifts and abilities to help make things possible for so many just like me. Your work reminds so many that we matter, all of us, and I'm ever so grateful. Oftentimes, the heritage of successful leaders, they make their mark by touching other people. And then those people rise to serve others as well. And they hope to serve in the same way as the individuals that sparked and pricked their hearts. And when I think about all that has been accomplished, Henrico County excellence is on full display. And I couldn't be prouder of what this collaborative effort has done. Being a part of this journey as a graduate from the old Highland Springs High School and then serving as a school board member for the new Highland Springs High School is amazing. This is Henrico County, my journey of excellence. It's a journey of excellence for you. It's a journey of excellence that so many that came before us. God is just so amazing in my life, and I just want to take a moment to praise him, too. This building will provide so many opportunities for our youth, for our staff, and for our community. 
and there's so many that we just don't know yet until the future comes and I'm so excited about that right now and for generations to come and I'll close at this moment because the gravity is not holding back the tear in my right eye but the left one has fallen and I will close with saying once a springer And I'd like to introduce, not that he needs an introduction because he's on his way already, Reverend Tyrone Nelson. Good evening. Well, good afternoon. I'm sitting here hoping that the rain doesn't last long because i got to go put on some shorts and we got to beat this team from West Virginia in a couple of hours. <laughs> and this is a truly special day um, for all of Highland Springs. And you know, I look around, I see so many faces. I really wish that all of you who are part of this family, we can call you out and give you a chance to talk. Um, because so many of you make this work and have made this work. And we are, uh, I'm excited for you. You know, I'm excited for um, Dr. White. Where is Dr. White? Um, and all of the work that he and his administrative team have put into this. And then I see um, Pam Bell showing up. And I can think about all of the principals that have labored here um, and lifting up Springer Nation. So I want to say congratulations to you, um, present and past Springers. You deserve this. For the first time since 1952, Highland Springs has a brand new, beautiful, state-of-the-art high school. This is a place, yep, that deserves a round of applause. This is a place where our next generations will grow and learn, where they will not only be challenged, but also where they will persevere and succeed. A new school has a way of sending a powerful message to our young people. And I believe that the message that is sent to our young people today is, like this building, you are strong and you are bright, and Henrico County believes in you. Uh, Ms. Atkins already mentioned some of it, but a school like this doesn't just happen. It is the dreams that um, are in the mind of those who come and have come well before, came well before our time. As it relates to me, me on this journey, um, many conversations led to uh, thoughts. You know, I remember my son was a ninth grader and he was an incoming ninth grader here and uh, Pat Kenlaw was superintendent and I was dropping him off a of band practice and shout out to the baddest band in the land over there to my right. <laughs> he was here and I was walking around, and I remember calling the county manager, calling John Montgomery, and we were talking about some of the things that we could do to improve what the current school looked like, and that was like seven years ago. And uh, we, we began to dream in some, one shape, shape, some way, shape, or form. John may not remember this. Uh, John Vitorka is our county manager, but um, the seed for the bond referendum project for Highland Springs started um, on a Wednesday uh, during the month of April, I think, in 2015, and we were in San Diego. We were a part of the Chamber of Commerce's inner city visit. We were supposed to be, I don't know where we were supposed to be, but we ended up in a car, I think, with Chuck Ray, and um, we ended up at a school called High Tech High, and we were looking at some, um, trying to get some ideas about some things that we could do here, and that visit led to us talking about a new business innovation center and that's that's the idea that actually ended up on the bond referendum 40 some million dollar project that ended up on the bond referendum in 2016 that the voters overwhelmingly passed a little after that um, bond referendum vote and we were beginning to think through what the work looks like um, Pat O'Bannon and Harvey Henson and Harvey is here um, you know and Pat is here thank you for both for being here uh, Harvey's kids came through Highland Springs, so this is an uh, important day for him, too. Um, 
Pat and Harvey. Harvey at the time was serving in the place of the late Dick Glover. They started to ask the questions. Uh, why would we spend $55 million in renovation when we can build a school for what we thought <laughs> which is funny now, <laughs> what we thought was $80 million. Uh, we were way off the mark, but the, but the thought, the seed was planted. You know, Mr. Thornton and I um, began to agree. What was the point of doing that? And not too long after that, and I, I will give credit where credit is due, the county manager called me and said, I have an idea. What do you think? Now, I can't promise you this is going to work. What do you think if I could find a way that if we do do this at Tucker, um, that we may possibly be able to do something in the East End. And that, that's, all the, that's all he had to say. Uh, I was going to hold him to it if he could make it happen, um, and he did. And uh, John Montgomery and I, you know, we were wrestling, and we ended up here because we had just spent $30 million finishing up Verona, and it didn't make sense to do it there. And so Highland Springs was the logical choice. Rebuild, rebuilding instead of renovating. That's how we ended up here. And uh, I'm appreciative of my colleagues on the school board and the board of supervisors who understood the importance of equity. That the last few brand new schools that we had were built in the West End. And that because of the way we built schools, we built schools based upon population and not upon um, equity. But because of these boards, and Lisa Marshall at the time, and Bev Cock, who is here, um, and the late um, Glover and Cackley, who were a part of some of these discussions, um, along with my colleagues, Pat O'Bannon and Frank Thornton, embraced this whole rebuilding and not renovating. And that's, that's, why, that's why we are here today, because they thought it would be robbery to build a brand new Tucker and leave Highland Springs the way it is. So I want to shout them out, both boards. And so I don't have to shout out John Montgomery again. I miss you, man. I really do. And no, no slight on Miss Atkins because she's doing a, 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 a great job. Um, you know, John and I worked together for eight years. And so we were able to do a whole lot. And I'm looking forward to um, what we have been doing and what we are doing now with Alicia Atkins um, as our school board member here. The entire Verona community participated. Meals tax back in 2013. If it wasn't for the meals tax referendum, we wouldn't be here. 2016, if it wasn't for the barn referendum, we would not be here. And so without the strong support of those who are part of our communities, projects like this don't happen. And so this school is a gift not just for our students, but it is for the entire community. It reinforces our, our county's work in other areas. When we were talking about a business innovation center back in 2015, we were talking about something that could be the gateway into, uh, into Highland Springs. I think this is a pretty great gateway into Highland Springs. When you get off 64 and you're traveling up and down um, Airport Drive, this is a stunning image and it represents who we are. This new house school, I believe, will strengthen what we're trying to do to improve our neighborhoods. It's gonna create high quality, affordable housing and attract other reinvestments through the Highland Springs Historic District. As I prepare my thoughts for today and I close, on September the 20th, 2018, which is almost three years ago, Monday to the day, we stood, now, I can't even remember where the old field is, but we were over to my right somewhere. And I was reminded of the sports cliche, the scoreboard doesn't lie. <laughs> Three years ago, we gathered on that field and we announced plans to build not only a new Highland Springs High School, but a Tucker High School. We set an ambitious schedule and we said that we would have those schools ready for our kids to walk into less than three years later. To underscore that point, we put 2021 on the scoreboard. I'm proud to be a part of a county and work with colleagues who don't spend a lot of time fighting, who don't have to be in the newspaper, who don't do a whole bunch of going back and forward so people can give them the credit, but that we all put our mind to it 
and in less than three years, we opened two high schools and one elementary school. We're here, and we're ready to cut the ribbon. I've got pictures of that day, and Brad Austin is in it, and Harry Lee Daniel is in it, and Ken White, and I'll always remember that day where we stood together on that field and we dreamed together. And now look at us. Congratulations, Springer Nation. The scoreboard did not lie. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you ever wonder why some of us do what we do in public service, then uh, the comments you uh, just heard may provide total clarity as to what is possible with public service when people are committed. So this has been, I think it was noted, Ms. Atkins noted it, a momentous week in our county, an emotional week for many of us. Um, I see some old faces uh, in the audience that had so much to do with putting together some plans and while Mr. Nelson gave me um, a lot of credit I want to thank a young man who is you can probably see him back there his name's Brandon Hinton he's one of our tallest uh, staff folks but he is the finance guru that put this plan together so uh, let it be known that Mr. Hinton was So these celebrations are the result of a deeply committed, deeply committed elected bodies who intentionally chose to move forward boldly for our county's residents, for the students of today and tomorrow. You know, as you walk through students, the halls of a state-of-the-art facility that it was just noted just over three years ago was really never planned to be. The story of this new Highland Springs High School is one of determined advocacy that was noted and the opportunity, I would suggest, to pay it forward to the next generation of Henrico students. You know, throughout their terms as elected members of the Board of Supervisors and the school board to represent the Verona Magisterial District, Tyrone Nelson and John Montgomery respectively grew in their, their understanding of who they served. Now I work for five elected officials but Mr. Nelson and I are probably closest in service in that um, he was a new board member when I was appointed a new county manager. So our time together has been probably the closest of all. But both Mr. Montgomery and Mr. Nelson took to heart the sentiments those constituents shared and we heard it of not feeling valued due to several aging facilities in Verina, particularly Highland Springs High School with its growing student population. And the story was noted after the after the bond referendum passed, conversations started and we've noted this uh, we noted this at Tucker as well. But Mr. Nelson, Mr. Montgomery, and um, I've also got to got to uh, recognize uh, Mr. Thornton's efforts, Mr. Cooper, who also saw an opportunity to do something big and made a bold ask for Verina in Eastern Henrico. If we're replacing a 50-year-old high school for J.R. Tucker, then why can't we replace 60-plus-year-old Highland Springs? And their determined advocacy and the board spirit to serve all of our community members brought this tremendous project forward. But, you know, Mr. Nelson noted the, the trip that we took to San Diego, and I do remember that. I'll never forget. Um, but it was prior to that that and we heard this many times that there was a need for a new high school in eastern Henrico. This predated the conversation for at Tech Center. And the, the reality is Tyrone Nelson made a promise and that promise was kept 
And there she is. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, at this point, I'm going to ask Dr. Cashwell to come forward. Thank you, Mr. Manager. Well, when you are in Springer Nation, you know you are in Springer Nation. And nothing, not even some raindrops, can dampen the energy and spirit uh, that we are feeling here today on this very exciting occasion. What an exciting, historic day. Thank you to everyone who has gathered together to officially open this beautiful, state-of-the-art campus. Your presence is representative of a long, and strong history of community involvement, school pride, and working together that defines Highland Springs High School. That history is going to continue with a beautiful new chapter today. Reaching a major milestone like this can only be achieved through incredible teamwork. And so I first want to acknowledge the dedication of our Highland Springs faculty and staff. Bravo to you. While the physical facility has changed and provides exciting new opportunities for excellence and innovation and talent and commitment, it's the care that you've always demonstrated that will remain the most important foundation of students' wellness and success. Thank you for that care that you bring to our students each and every day. Thank you. I want to express gratitude to the Henrico County Public Schools project management and school teams led by Pat Murphy, Jeremiah Shipp, Ryan Johnson, Calvin Harris, Andrea Tucker, Carl Brown, Keith Fields, and Igor Majorca for their extraordinary efforts throughout this project to ensure that we were ready for students on September 8th. Thank you. Thank you also to our partners in planning and building inspections, public works, public utilities, recreation and parks. Together, you made this uh, deadline uh, possible, meeting that ambitious deadline. And we are so fortunate, of course, as we've heard, uh, to have an incredible board of supervisors and county manager who truly prioritize uh, the needs of our families and students through their investments, ensuring we have the resources that we need. The beautiful campus behind us is a testament to that strong support, and we are grateful. I'll, I can tell you that scoreboard moment is etched in my mind forever, too, because that very ambitious timeline may or may not have made my heart skip a, a couple beats as a brand new superintendent coming in. But had I known the tremendous teamwork uh, and spirit that existed here in Henrico County, I wouldn't have been nervous one bit. What a tremendous uh, accomplishment uh, by both boards, and uh, it's just it's just something that it really is to behold. I, I also want to express my deep appreciation to our partners on this project, Mosley Architects, the Timmons Group, and Gulf Seaboard General Contractors. And I'd also like to note that these gorgeous flowers here um, were donated by Gulf Seaboard for this event today. Thank you so much. So we, we thank you not only for the flowers, but for bringing our vision to life here. And finally, I want to acknowledge the most important people here, our students. <laughs> thank you for your flexibility and your patience as some of the final stages of this project are being completed. The facility and all of the planning and, that, and work that went into making this a reality is truly for you. We are here today because we believe in you, in your dreams, and in your future. We hope that this beautiful new campus provides a school home that inspires a lifelong passion for learning and helps you to become the very best version of yourself well prepared and for an amazing future. Springers, this is for you.
And so as we conclude uh, our ceremony here under the tent, it is time for us to head towards that ribbon we see behind us. So I'd like to invite school board members, supervisors, the county manager, local legislators, and of course, uh, Dr. White to join me to officially cut the ribbon of Highland Springs High School. Okay, I'll start.